Facebook Live. I'm here in the morning. Boogeyman doesn't like the mornings, but I'm here for you. Check it out. What's going on, Facebook world? If you have questions for me, Tony Alpha Gooey Ferguson. There I go talking to myself in the third person, which never ever happens because it must be early. Let's go. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's go. How did I get my nickname? I'm the worst nightmare. I'm scary. Uh, one of the things that happened was one of my trainers. Are you Mexican? Last name Mike Ferguson. We can't really tell. Said, yeah, I'm Mexican. What are you talking about? He's like, all right, man. Man, you look like the gooey, like the boogeyman. You got the crazy ears. I mean, little did he know my ears, my ears, and from wrestling, hard work, man. He's like badges of courage. And uh, he said, you got some long ass arms. You got big old hands. And I had a vest on. I had 45 pound weights. So I'm sitting here going, ah, 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 ah. and these kids next door, they were misbehaving, and they was training them. He was like, hey, you better watch out. Yeah, I'm going to stick that guy on you. He's going to get you. He's a kukui. The worst nightmare. It's worse than the boogie man. That fits. Perfect. Next question. Do I think I can beat you at Tetris? Yes. I am a Tetris master. I love Tetris. I'm on like level 18, 19, no problem. Uh, every time I get somewhere, I'm just killing time. It's my favorite app that's on, the, on my phone. Tetris, baby. You should see me juggle my luggage and putting it inside the SUV sometimes. It's like... People put them in there, like, no, 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 you gotta take it all out, man. You gotta, look, this piece goes here, this piece goes there, this piece goes there. And then it doesn't work, and I'm like, okay, clear it out. And we gotta do it again. So Tetris is my game. I love it. Let's see. You guys like my glasses? Check them out. Can you see me? Does b-boying help me with training? Absolutely. Uh, nobody really taught me it, it's just I enjoy doing what I do. Uh, such a great opportunity to be able to like let myself just kind of like get lost and immersed inside the music, whatever I'm listening to, and to feel free flowing and just have that energy and that, that rhythm going. And if you don't have that rhythm, and you're not going to go inside that octagon, you're not going to have fun. And uh, that's something that I enjoy doing uh, with a passion. I love it, love dancing, regardless if it's b boying, salsa, merengue, uh, square dancing, you got a little bit of ballroom too. Uh, my wife and I, that's how I met her. Uh, I asked her if she'd like to dance and give it a stare. I was like, you. And that was it. What kind of sunglasses are these? I don't really promote them, but my favorite pair, they're called Dylan's. Made here in the USA. They're pretty cool. Check them out. Nice glasses. Kind of expensive, but chill. I like them. They're not your $20 glasses that you get at the gas station. That's for damn sure. Let's go. Let's see the eyebrow right The People's Main Event. I like that. You know, somebody else said that, too. They were like, you know, you guys aren't the main event, but you guys are the people's main event. I believe that 150%. I want to thank every single one of you that's out there listening uh, and watching. You know, you guys are living your lives. You're doing what you have to do, but yet you're making time for this. So I appreciate every single one of you that's always been a fan and just loves, loves what I do, uh, which is going out there and giving my all and leaving it all out there, man. It's, it's something that I do. Nobody tells me to do it. Nobody's holding my hand. Uh, I think it's badass. I hope every single one of you going out there and kicking ass no matter what you're doing and having fun and inspiring everybody else around you. So uh, just keep that shit up. Uh, you know, you always got a lot of love for me, and uh, I'm a fan of your guys if you're a fan of me. So let's keep that up, and let's bring that energy with us over in the UFC 209. Make sure you either come and check us out at the T-Mobile Arena or you get it on pace or not pace, but you get it on pay-per-view. And uh, I got to forget we're on pay-per-view. Ah, fun. But, uh, yeah, set your DVRs. You're going to want to rewatch this. It's absolutely amazing. If it's anything like any of my other fights, you guys are in for a treat. And uh, I'm sure Khabib can say the same thing. So, respect to Khabib, but that's as far as that goes. Uh, this boy says he wants to break my arm. Uh, I got a 10-month-old that I love to hold, and uh, he's not going to stop me from holding him. He's going to have a problem if he does. 
you're going to get hit with it. You're going to smack them. Smack, 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 smack. That's it. Kimo Kukui, thank you very much. I appreciate that, guys. Where are you guys all from? Tell me. Tell me where you guys are from. I want to know where you guys are from. What's the first meal you eat after your win? Ooh, pizza. Uh, I haven't had pizza in a long time, and I love carbs. Oh, my gosh. I love carbs. I'm Mexican. I love carbs, man. So after the wins, I, I enjoy a nice Mexican dinner, like fajitas, uh, beans, rice, some steak, some chicken, maybe some shrimp, and I, I load up on my carbs. The next day, after the fight, give me some pizza and a beer. Plain and simple. Make it a Corona, ice cold, baby. Make it a Corona, always. You see this mic? Check it out. You guys can see who's filming me. Yo, what's up, Alex? What's up? Groovy. Check her out. Say what's up. These are my people here. Y'all from Michigan, too? Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn's in the house. Diego, shout out. Cool, Jeff Edrick. Nice to meet you, buddy. Houston, baby. That's cool. Nice to meet you, Vasquez. Mm. No, I didn't really take a year off of my, when my kid was born. Um, it's actually been a great blessing that I'm able to compete and, and be able to keep it mentally. Uh, I believe a true athlete should be able to overcome any obstacles or any blessings in his life. And to be able to just uh, push forward and move forward, man. Uh, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because my baby's born. No, I love my baby. So he's going to want his dad to do what? Succeed. So I'm paving that way for not just me, but my family and for my little man, Armand Anthony. And uh, we're going to have our hand raised in victory on Saturday night. And I'm not going to leave it to the judges. If it does go to the judges, I'm going to give it everything I've got. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to leave it to the judges. Uh, I'm aiming for that victory, that flawless victory. I don't like getting hit no more. This face needs to stay pretty right here, you know, so my little man still recognizes me, and uh, I'm going to make sure that happens. My man, you are ice cold. <laughs> Love the lunging eyebrow game. That's awesome. So check out the eyebrow game. Can you guys do that? Can't really see it, but check it out. See the eyes? Who is Connor? I don't recognize Connor. I don't, I don't even know the name Connor. I know McNuggets. <laughs> Maybe that fake pink shit that McDonald's sells you food. Eh, what are you gonna do? The Gooey, been watching you enter the octagon since your first fight. You deserve the title. Hard working and caught the eye. Style of fighting. Good luck to you. Thank you, Javier. Appreciate you, dude. But you guys want to hear a joke? Lame joke, but it's one of my favorites. There's these two muffins, right? They're sitting in the oven. One muffin looks to the other muffin and says, Holy shit, it's hot in here. And the other muffin says, Holy shit, a talking muffin. Great joke. Great joke. Go ahead and use that. Go ahead. California here, living the dream. Shout out. Thanks, Fernando. I appreciate you, dude. Our cowboy, cowboy fight would be fun. I always wanted to fight Cowboy Cerrone. Uh, I think that would be an interesting fight. But I always knew I was going to fight uh, Edson Barbosa, too. And I just thought that was going to be a fucking war. And it was, man. It was like one of the best fights I've ever had. And I, those are the kind of fights that I, I train for. I hope Khabib trained his ass off for this fight. And he gives me a fight like that one. Or even better. Because RDA was a great fight. That was awesome. But we were dealing with some altitude issues. And I saw Khabib's workout the other day at Open Workouts. And that boy was breathing hard. He was breathing really hard. And his recovery rate sucks. I was like, man, you don't spend any time doing breathing exercises or mental exercises. You just go out there and you're just a brawn. He wrestles bears, but he's never wrestled this California grizzly. Man, that's a damn shame. How long have you been training at Penn Planet? Ooh. I've been training at Ten Planet Jiu Jitsu since um, I was, my arm was in a cast. Uh, when I broke my arm with Michael Johnson, the healing didn't go so well. 
I was stuck in a cast for like maybe a year and a half. Sucked. Went through three surgeries, man. I had a steel plate in my arm. It sucked. I had it like right here. And I was like, man, I guess I should learn Muay Thai. So I learned Muay Thai and I was like, man, I guess I should learn something else along the way because I can't really throw a punch. Let's learn some jujitsu. I asked one of my buddies. He brought me over to Ten Planet Jiu-Jitsu. And I instantly fell in love with it. Uh, just the system, the creative names, the, the closeness of the group, and just uh, just the overall aura of what that brings. Because I said the other day, I was like, I don't know Jiu-Jitsu, I know Ten Planet. And uh, a lot of people put some quotes out there and a lot of Instagram memes. But if you haven't checked it out, check out my boy Eddie Bravo's page at Eddie Bravo 10. And he's my homie, he's my, he's my instructor, he's my, one of my mentors and one of the gurus I look to to get me through it, man. And uh, he's been there ever since... Uh, Ever since I introduced myself to him, I was like, hey, coach. I was like, look, give me the opportunity, give me the time of day. I'm going to pay attention. And here we are now. I'll take one more question. I'm going to randomly pick it, so go ahead and ask. Ready? Go. Boom. At what round do you think his samba dance moves are coming out? <laughs> uh, any round. That's one of my favorite things to do is to stay loose. And uh, I don't. The other guy got knocked out the other day doing some dance moves. I don't know what he was doing. He was all facing sideways and doing some BS. But when I'm in there doing my dance moves, I'm in the groove, and it's a it's a way for me to find that tempo and find that rhythm, and, and to get back moving and, and just keep grooving. And uh, I love it. It's not a forced move, and uh, I just want to say, hey, thank you guys so much for giving me this time and waking up and, and, and just giving me your day, and I'm going to go out right now. I'm going to go practice, cut some little bit of weight because I'm fat, as you can tell, and uh, just make this a whole entire day that I'm going to enjoy, and tomorrow's the weigh-ins. Uh, make sure you guys tune in for the weigh-ins. I forget what time the weigh-ins are at. Anybody know? You guys don't know? Like a five, a five or something like that. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to it because so that guy's got issues coming on Saturday. Shout out from Team Alpha Gooey here to you, Team Alpha Gooey. I want to say thank you guys so much and follow me on my way to victory by Tony Ferguson, XT.